Okay, so I think we are going to the Cape Cod Creamery and then we're gonna head to the beach and just watch the sunset. So now we are walking more onto the sand. I just stepped in straight mud. That's great. And I'm trying to find my mom on this beach. It's packed tonight for like no reason. Yeah, it's really cute seeing everybody's families just like out. Abby, say hi. No. Okay, I'm gonna set up my phone right here. I've amassed a pretty big following. Yeah. 200. Wow. You made it. I know. Somehow, I don't know how, every single person who I've ever talked to has found the videos. Seriously? <laughs> Which, like, I'm fine with. Oh. Like, I don't know, like, a ton of people from- Oh my gosh! They have a lantern! It's, a video. it's like the one from Tangled. That's so pretty. Okay, anyway. Yeah, no, like, I've had a few people from Cornell be like, oh, your reaction video showed up on my recommendations. Which is so weird. Okay, so I'm at the beach right now. I'm at Corporation Beach. I've been going here ever since I was little, and it's definitely my favorite beach to go to. Um, people are lighting lanterns right now and, like, letting them up into the sky like they do with Tangled, which is really cute. It's really pretty. I just got ice cream at the Cape Cod Creamery. I got the Sandbar Swirl, which is like vanilla ice cream with fudge and peanut butter cups in it, which is my fave. And then we just went to the beach to watch the sunset and it's so beautiful. Someone's doing their like wedding photos here. So it's just really pretty. There's so many families here with their dogs just hanging out and like playing baseball and stuff like that. So it's just really cute to see. This is, I think, probably the last time I'll be at the Cape before I leave for college, which is really sad because I love the Cape so much and I'm gonna miss it. I'm also really sad because all of the hydrangeas are now wilted and dead and hydrangeas are my favorite flowers and they're so beautiful in Cape Cod, especially in Chatham. There's just like rows and rows of blue hydrangeas that just lie in the streets. So it's sad when they wilt and they're all like, gross but yeah i'm really excited for this upcoming fall and i'm so excited to meet new people and everything all right i'm on top of the lifeguard tower right now but i'm gonna head down soon to just be with my family and go on a walk on the beach and yeah bye i did it i'm going to find my mom and my sister let's go Like where? You could try the grumpies. Suddenly they're open six to one. Okay. You could do that. We might have to wait, but who cares, right? Yeah. Okay, so I talked with my mom and my sister, and I think we're going to go to this breakfast place called Grumpy's. 
so I'm really excited because we haven't been there before but I've heard really good things about it the only thing is that it's a Sunday and we kind of woke up late today we were gonna go to the beach but then all of us slept in and we definitely wouldn't be able to get on the beach right now just because it's like 10 and so the beaches are already like packed by now so I think we're just gonna go out to breakfast and hang out Okay, so Abby and I just drove to the park and we go here a lot on vacation just to go for like short walks just so we're not completely lazy all the time. It's about 1.30 right now and I think we're gonna go home, take a shower and then maybe walk around somewhere or go out to eat. So yeah. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to become a dolphin. If any of you were wondering how. Okay, we are running to TJ Maxx real quick, and then I think we might get sushi. So I'm going to go on the hammock for a few seconds, but I think we're going to go mini golfing at this like Pirate's Cove place. It's really for kids. Abby and I went there all the time when we were really young, like seven or eight, and we used to go like four times every single summer. And I'm so bad at mini golf, but I like it a lot. And there's also an arcade, which is really cute. And I haven't been in a few years because I think they shut it down for a bit because of COVID. But yeah, I hope it's still open and I hope the arcade is still going because I love arcades. So I'll bring you guys with me. Guys, the arcade that we used to go to as kids apparently got ruined by a tornado. So it's gone. You had a 52, Abby. She had a 51, and I had a 50. So, so far, like, the characters in Breaking Bad 
haven't appeared on Better Call Saul. It's okay. about like the sketchy lawyer in Breaking Bad. Okay. I did not watch enough episodes to know who that might be, but okay. okay. Well, it's Saul Goodman. Okay. And like none of the characters have made an appearance, but they've hinted that they might. So the fact that the next episode is called Breaking Bad, everyone's like, what's happening? I'm only on season two, but a lot of people say that they really love it. Okay. And it's like six seasons and this is like the last season. So I need to catch Was up. It what did you think of Persuasion? Um, I just, I feel sad for everybody involved. It just didn't have any plot, like, that, that was worth I told her not to watch the new Netflix Persuasion movie, and she watched it anyway. I have a thing, like, if I start something, I try to finish it, even if it's horrible. And that's yeah. what happened for me. It is unfortunate, because I do actually really like Dakota Johnson. I think she's cool. I think there could have been something there. I mean, anything by Chain Air is... I mean, I'm sorry, Jane anything Austin. by Jane Austen is amazing. Um, okay. So I just feel sad that it didn't... It didn't in the yeah, no. People immediately knew it was going to be bad. Like, the second the trailer came out, people were like... So I didn't see that. I should probably invest more time in research before I uh, commit to something. I tried to force Abby to watch Marie Antoinette because I love that movie because the costume design is so beautiful and the set design is so beautiful. And she's like, this is slow. I don't like this. She's nuts. Is that a parking space or no? I can't no, that's tell. That's an alley. That's cute. Is the coffee decent? No, the coffee's really good. So I got a medium iced coffee with half and half. I put a little bit of oat milk and then that was rude. They ran out of blueberry muffins and my mom is distraught. It's really upsetting. But we got, what did we get? We got two chocolate chip, one lemon poppy, corn, one corn muffin. And is that it? And then one cranberry blueberry. And then one cranberry blueberry. Because that was the closest thing to having a blueberry muffin. Which is not a blueberry muffin. Yeah. Which is devastating. So. Right? Well, actually, practice. Make sure it's safe. I got another banana buzz smoothie from Ring Bros. And this has peanut butter, hemp seed, bananas, cold brew, and then it has oat milk. It's supposed to have chocolate almond milk, but I replaced it with oat milk just because... I'm allergic and I just went for a walk at the park that I went to yesterday and I think we might go to Barnes and Noble and then I'll take a shower and then I think we have to head out because I have a little get-together with some friends at home and so we have to leave I really need to get my nails done. These are like a month old now. I think I'm gonna wait to get them done though for like right before I go off to school. And I don't know what I'll do. I think I might do like a French tip. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. I'm thinking about, like I really like the French tips that are like a V almost. I think those are kind of cute. But I also like cute designs. So let me know, which one should I do? It's a good day for Barnes & Noble then. Yes. about me I'm scared of escalators because I fell down an entire flight of one at Dick's Sporting Goods when I was like 14 so yeah Five Guys Fries for like months now.